Hello once again YouTube. Second video today. Second camera adjustment today. Trying some uh, different angles and whatnot. You know, and I pre-tried it, but when you click record, it uh. Anyway, gear-driven smoke back at you once again on this beautiful Cobb Tuesday up here in Central Massachusetts. It is cold. It is windy, it's like uh, 22 degrees, 21, but the wind chill is like, ah, real cold. So, smoking my Rick Black mortar pipe I bought last year. Check out the stem on this bad boy. Huh? Well, let's see, here. of course I spilled tobacco everywhere. Nice stubby little pipe, nice wide saddle bit. It's the only mortar I have. Currently the only artisan pipe I have as well. In it, I am smoking an English blend. It's probably showing up backwards. It's Dunhill, my mixture. 965 uh, uh, BB 1938 I do like 965 though just just saying it's a good Latakia bomb well let's light this puppy chucker up for a second How many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? Ten tickles. Anyway. Hmm. We're going to switch the tamper up, too. This isn't a tamper at all. It's a pencil, but it's shaped like a saguaro cactus. <clears throat> Which is probably my favorite plant other than tobacco <laughs> and uh, I got that on a little trip I took to Arizona last summer <clears throat> anywho today is pretty exciting day because I did my Cub Tuesday video and something came in the mail ooh, ooh, ooh what's that <laughs> Let's check this out. Oh, I get my pipe tray out of the way, I think, here. Yeah. I don't know what your Walmart has, um, but I went to, like, the birthday party supply section at Walmart for my son's birthday party supplies, and I came across this cool tray. They had a bunch of other ones, too. I think this might have been around Halloween time, or they might have just had it. You know, anyway, but, uh, you know, it's a plastic tray. It was like, I don't know, two, three bucks, something like that. But I, I love the skulls. And, uh, you can't, it's not picking up on the camera, but there's like almost a little patina to the skulls, which I think is either just dirt or, um, so a little, little something to the plastic. So, nice light little box. I have it bottom facing up because my personal information is uh, on the label there <clears throat> gift I got for Christmas from my old man this is the Puma I believe Puma is the model Uh, this is a SGB BOA, uh, Bowie, German made. Authentic German stag antler handle with brass. Nice brass pin. The uh, Puma series logo is on the pin. I don't know all that much about knives. I know that this is a fairly small for a Bowie. And, uh,. I mean, it takes an edge very well. It's a, it's a nice, nice knife. Definitely the best knife that I have. 
I cut away from myself here. It's it's really pretty sharp. It's not super sharp yet, but the edge that uh, it came with is significant. <clears throat> it will um, slice paper pretty nicely. I really uh, I really like this knife a lot. I'm very appreciative to the person who gifted it to me for the holidays there. Oh, am I doing that wrong? Yep, I'm doing it wrong. For some reason, going into the sheath, they're supposed to come with a leather sheath, a sheath I believe, but uh, this is nylon, obviously. Um, the clip goes over the knuckle guard here, the finger guard. It's got a heck of a tang on it, though. Cool blade, really like it. You know, maybe in, in case we make a mess, we have paper towels now. <laughs> Humble dunnage and uh, shipping protectant means. <clears throat> This is a magnet-like business card. Y'all just get a good look at that. Yeah, I understand it's backwards. And I can't put thumbnails on my videos yet. That is Rick Black Pipes. And that is, I believe, a fridge magnet. Yeah. And it'll be going on my fridge for sure. Is this Rick Black mortar pipe? Mortar is very difficult to deal with. The stem that he made for this, um, I like the band. There's others that I like the band a lot more, but the man makes some uh, really awesome pipes. Check him out on Facebook. There's a whole story to Rick Black. Hmm, 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 hmm. Moment of truth, folks. Move my water out of the way here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, man. Same style stem. Same colors as my other one. I didn't even know that. Like the rustication on that. Other than my Dagner poker cob, this is my first poker. Oh, that's so cool! Hey, check this guy out, right? It's like a jewelry chain. Look at that. But there's not enough slack in it to come off. And it's not. I thought this was going to be a big, huge pipe. This is actually like a like a medium, but this is a good sized pipe. Yeah, it's a sitter. Wow. Wow. Hey, I really like this pipe a lot. Check this guy out. I don't buy uh, a lot of pipes. I'm one that's learning to just enjoy the pipes I have. I have one Savinelli. I have a couple of uh, basket pipes. Um, that most of them are HIS Hugo International Series seconds, which I did see that they uh, after I bought all of mine, they got them in at uh, Pipes and Cigars. Yeah, this is a friggin' sweet pipe, man. I really like that. I really like that. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I have to throw this puppy up on Instagram, that's for sure. You know, just like this one, right? I don't, I don't want to put a softy bit on it, so I'm going to have to start doing the vinyl wrap or the heat shrink technique. Uh, Mutton Chop Piper had a video about it, about doing the heat shrink. Uh, you know, and um, so does uh, NW Pipe Smoker, Northwest Pipe Smoker. 
that guy can clinch and he likes a chunky stubby pipe and he can clinch and talk and all that I'm not that skilled hmm Ooh. I'm not really into dedicating tobaccos either if I smoke an aromatic it's kind of seldom but if I do I'll smoke it out of a, a cob typically not using my briars for that so well I wonder what I'm gonna smoke out of this guy I might have to dedicate that. Maybe dedicate that to uh, English blends or something. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I might do a uh, pipe collection video or something later on down the road when I get this channel set up and linked up. And um, I have, you know, a background and a profile picture and all that whatnot. And I'll be able... I can tag. I just... I don't know much about it yet. Um, so, <clears throat> definitely a big shout out to Rick Black Pipes. And uh, I'll certainly be um, giving you guys a, a link to my shout outs and um, to pipe makers and, and suppliers. I definitely want to stress the importance of Cobb Tuesday and the symbolism that you don't have to spend a lot of money on the tool to smoke it. The, the ignition source and the tamper, you know. Don't wrap your pipe on things, but hold it by the bowl. Take your ash out in your hand, you know, maybe break it up with a check tool, $2 check tool, and shake the ash up, knock the dottle out, and be done with it. And let that pipe rest, you know, let it cool. You know, smoke your corn cobs. Uh, enjoy the pipes and tobaccos that you already have. And a lot of people in the YTPC are touching on this. Um, it, it's it's becoming a topic here. Uh, and there's good reason for that. You don't have to blow all your money on pipes to try and keep up with these other guys. Some of them are well off enough to afford that. But when you do so, you know, when you do set yourself aside a hundred or a hundred and fifty dollar budget and you're gonna shop for a nice pipe because you're gonna treat yourself, do that and and enjoy it. Enjoy it. But don't overspend and be ragging on yourself because then it and then it turns into more of an emotional situation than what this is really supposed to be you know pipe smoking is a lifestyle and a hobby and it's about pure enjoyment and the youtube pipe community is about camaraderie and friendship and and um you know brotherhood even though there are lady pipe smokers out there which i think that's the bee's knees that's really cool so <clears throat> this is gear driven smokes new new ride man if i could buy a seven day set of these i think i probably would you paying attention rick <laughs> uh, uh that's really cool uh, i hope you guys enjoyed opening that up with me that's my first box opening and uh my second rick black pipe uh, i got a mortar and a briar first poker <whistles> today's a lot for first all right guys it's gear driven smoke comment like subscribe and share i sh certainly do appreciate it hit the bell notification if you like seeing me pop up and uh yeah, you know have a good smoke surround yourself with the people that care about you and do your best to limit the people that don't and do your best to limit the people that use you and uh that you just don't jive with even if they're not of nefarious intent and uh i guess that's all for today you guys have a good one